In this problem, we're going to graph a function in the calculator and find the intervals of x where the function is decreasing. So to enter the function into the calculator, you have to hit this button here that says y equals. So I'm going to click that. It's in the top left corner, so y equals. And then we have to type in the function. Now this function is a fraction. So it's really important to put parentheses in the numerator. So parentheses. And now we have to enter the negative sign. So the negative sign is right here in the bottom right corner. The one right up here, this is the minus sign. So it's important that you hit the negative sign. Then the variable key is right here, so x. And then the exponent key is here. It's called the caret key. And then 3. And then the rest of it, so plus 9, and then variable key, exponent key 2, and then minus 24 x plus, whoops, 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 plus 1, parentheses, all divided by 3. Did that kind of fast. Um, so again, it's parentheses, and then th this key here, this negative sign is here. So the most common mistake is that people confuse the negative with the minus. Okay, so be really careful. Also, make sure you have parentheses. All right, to, get, to graph it, you just hit graph. It's right here in the top right corner, so graph. See if it works. It does. And if it doesn't work, you can just, usually what you can do is just hit zoom and then go down to six and then hit enter. You can also hit the number six, but I wanted to show you, so just enter. And what that does is it makes um, our graph display in a 10 by 10 window. So there's 10 tick marks going to the right, 10 to the left, 10 going up, and 10 going down. And the width of each tick mark is one. Okay, we want to find out where it's decreasing. So when you're thinking about increasing, decreasing, you always want to go left to right. So obviously the graph is going down here and it's going down here. So we want the x values for which that happens. So you hit trace right here, trace. And then you can navigate left and right using the arrows. So it looks like from negative infinity all the way to 2. That's 2, that's the tick mark there. So you can use this to tell as well. So about 2. So from negative infinity to 2, it's decreasing. So from negative infinity to 2, it's decreasing. Then here it's increasing. And then it starts decreasing again at about 4. You see here it says x equals 4. You can also look at the tick marks, 1, 2, 3, 4. So from 4 to infinity, it's decreasing. So negative infinity to 2, and then also 4 to infinity. So the answer should be B. I hope that made sense.